Welcome back to NBA Today. So we had a fun discussion in our newsroom this morning before Richard got here because Richard yeah. was late. Um, but if you need a shot to, to win, if you need to win, Luca, Katie, who's taking it? Ah, Katie. Yeah, Kevin Durant. That was it. Was a unanimous yeah, yeah, decision. Yeah, it, was unanimous. it was a unanimous decision. As but if it's from the left wing, I'm giving Luca. Give it. To <laughs> okay, that's hyper specific. <laughs> but it's a good thing we saw both of these guys in action last night, Richard. Look, Kevin Durant was doing what Kevin Durant wants, and look, we jumped to the fourth mainly because <laughs> of this. We jumped to the fourth because the Dallas Mavericks were this? up like 17, mm. and then look, now it becomes a battle of who can just lead their team. To where they need to get. Love this. And when Luka does that, Kevin Durant does this. This back, and, it's back and forth. And look, the Brooklyn Nets, they've been figuring things out. And like, and look, James Harden is starting to get going. You can't. And Luke, Luke is looking around like, hey, you can't leave anybody open. I'm sorry, there's no help. But here, this final play, Luca gets the step back that he wants. You know, look, Nick Claxton, great defense. But there's the problem. Who do you leave wide open at the top? Oh, of the I, oh they're gonna keep floating around. And look, James Harden's kind of slacking, but right here, Tim Hardaway Jr. with the pump fake. And that's a shot he can make, but. No, not too enough. Too little, too late. And here's Kevin Durant, who played a heavy minutes load last night after the game. We had two days in between, like, the last couple of games, you know what I'm saying? So I've been sitting at home a lot, to be honest, you know? So when I get a chance to play, you know, we didn't have shoot around this morning, you know, because it was an early game. So when I get a chance to play, yes. I mean, I know people may be concerned about my minutes and I got injured before and all this extra. But we'll figure that out if I get there. Right now, I want to play basketball. I might play 48 tomorrow. Just because. You know, that's something to talk about. Oh, there's a song here about let's give me some. I won't. Don't, well, please, I'm, don't. Not, I'm not going to do it, but <laughs> we're talking about it, Kevin. I appreciate you giving us something to talk Let's about. Talk so, see, Janae's picking up what I'm throwing down. Durant <laughs> is averaging 36.2 minutes per game. That's the most he's played since 2013 2014. Wow. He was 25 years old at the time. But then the team announced this morning after he said he'd play 48 minutes <laughs> after playing 41 last night. He's resting. So is LaMarcus Aldridge. But big picture, Cheney, is this something to worry about? I'm not worried about it because this is a guy that's on a roll. And I know we are careful, especially with his return back from injury, you know, after a year or season off. But the reality is here is KD, I mean, he's a hooper's hooper. And what I mean by that is he just loves to play basketball. And if he's good, let him play. He is leading the NBA in points per game around like 29. They're number one currently, the Brooklyn Nets in the East. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have no problems with him playing minutes, but I do like them resting him time to time, you know? Okay, so a lot of people want to talk about what, let's talk about why. Let's talk about why. Why is he playing so many minutes? The reason why he's playing so many minutes is that there are portions in these games where their defense is not up to par. Now, I know they're high on the defensive vision, but look at this. You get a layup, you get a layup right there, and then watch this. The ball just comes down, and then you give up a layup. And then look. In the paint, you get a shot, you get a shot. Look, ball's taken out underneath the basket. Guys Under, on the floor. <laughs> underneath the basket. And let's see what type of play they get. Just lay up. Ooh, seven. Now, to me, this is the thing. This is the difference between going into the fourth quarter up by 14 and going into the fourth quarter up by six. Those are things that you can actually control over the course of a basketball game. So, to me, when you're looking at Kevin Durant playing too many minutes, Yes, they're defensive numbers, but there are multiple possessions, especially early in the game, that if they were just more solid and playing consistent defense, that's how you get your numbers from 41 down to 37. Right, and this isn't, to me, this isn't new, right? I, I, I was having a deja vu. We had this discussion last season. I remember asking Steve Nash game after game after game, are you concerned about the minutes? Are you concerned about the minutes? The minutes piling up, and he said, yeah. But what other choice do I have? Because I take Kevin Durant out of the game. Remember, James Harden was racking up minutes. I take him out of the game, and then look what happens out on the floor. This is the man who played a full 48 minutes. Yes, it was in the playoffs. Yes, it was in a pivotal game five. Yes, he had 49 points. But Hooper's Hooper, you kind of just got to let him figure it out. But on the flip side... Luka Doncic admitted that he needs to step up his conditioning a little bit, saying that over the summer he was a little bit relaxed and that it was maybe too much and I've got to get back on track. So how much of a concern is that, Richard, for Dallas? I, it's a concern in this moment, but let's talk about big picture. 
there are great players and then there are elite elite. You have never, let's go down the line and look at great players over the course of basketball history. Oh, well, you, have never, you have never questioned LeBron James' conditioning. You have never questioned Giannis's conditioning. You have never questioned Kevin Durant's conditioning. So when we're looking at great players, now then we start to wonder, okay, the, is he going to fall on the line with James Harden in that boat? Even Luka Doncic a little bit, or not Luka Doncic, uh, Jokic, when he wasn't in, in great shape, but then he got in great shape MVP. So to Remember me, that? the photos yeah, that that, around I'm that just saying like, to me, Luca has to make a decision. Are you going to be a very good player or are you going to be an elite player? And that starts yeah. with offseason conditioning. I think the one asterisk is that we're coming off of an abbreviated Olympic season in which he put the whole country of Slovenia on his back. And he, uh, he alluded to that. Like, you know, it was a shorter offseason for me and he wanted to rest. He's 22 years old. We know he will make that decision in due time. At this point, you know, his usage is still up. His efficiency is not nearly as great, you know, to previous seasons. But the reality is this guy's still producing. I mean, mm. what did he have yesterday? 28 and 6 and 9. And so, yes, there's room for improvement. I think he's one of the most competitive players in basketball. The maturity factor of realizing, because I'm not old, but you all old. But, I, like, you get to a point when you're, like, 25, 26, 27, you're like, I have to rely on my conditioning to give me that edge. Mm -hmm. Some people learn it earlier. Some people learn it later. Luca is probably going to learn it, too. Some people don't learn it at all. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.